This is a brand new filament dry box on the market called the Fuller Box. It's from Fulament. Will it actually keep our filament dry? Let's find out today. My name's Jim and this is the Edge of Tech. So this is the brand new Fuller Box from Fulament. You might remember Fulament because we just did a contest throughout June into July printing vases and we had some really awesome vases and some really great winners as well. So I helped them out and I was a guest judge for their contest and they were really awesome to work with. That being said, they sent me the full of box so we could check it out today and I can't wait to see if it actually keeps our filament dry. What you get is a box about like this and we're gonna bust this bad boy open. In the box, you see it's all nicely packed just like that. You can pull out the package right here and you can actually pull out the full of box right here. Now it's all put together, it's assembled for you. It's in some uh, nice bubble wrap and uh, we can get it all out and my son is absolutely gonna love this bubble wrap. So once we get it out, it is also wrapped in plastic, which is awesome. I'm already loving the look of this thing. It is uh, fully assembled already. It has metal fittings right there. You can see it's a really thick acrylic. I hope you can see that right there. It's a really, really thick, nice acrylic. Uh, it looks like this latch pops open like this. Ooh, like that. And that's how that latch opens and shuts. And then whoop, you latch it down like that, which is pretty cool. Looks very nice. So in this box, you get a meter of PTFE tube, just like that. You get your uh, rollers here. If you scan this right here, you can actually go print your own rollers. These do have bearings in them, so we'll check those out in a second. You get a bag of parts. You get a uh, thermometer and hydrometer combo right there, which is really nice. And two boxes of desiccant that will go right in the bottom. One thing I really like is if you look on the bottom of the bag, it has video assembly. You scan this QR code, takes you to the assembly of the video, which is great. Like I said, you can scan this one, print your own rollers if you want. Uh, I just really love this because this right here shoots you right to a video and shows you how to put this thing together. So because that shows us how to put it together, I'm not gonna show you in this video to save a little bit of time. You know what, I'll just stop the camera and we'll poof when it's ready. Okay, so it's about five minutes later and I got it assembled pretty quick. All you have to do is scan the QR code on the front package, takes you right to a video and it's super easy. It's four bolts that hold uh, one on each side to hold the bearings here so these rollers don't come out. Then you put your PTFE fitting in here, your PTFE tubing uh, or your Bowden tube, whatever you want to call it, and an M6 right here to plug that hole. That's the whole assembly. So what I'm gonna do is open these packs of Deskin here. They are brand new. You can tell they haven't been uh, used yet because of the color. To recharge these, Fulament actually says you can throw these in an oven or a microwave. There's instructions out there online how to recharge desiccant, and it's you can keep using these over and over and over. So it looks like there's holes on both sides. So I'm gonna pop this open. I'm gonna set these in the bottom two packs here. They're a really good size. So the filament I'm gonna use is this PLA from Coex. Now this is a Coex Next. This is a recycled PLA, which is super exciting. Now Coex is actually a sponsor of today's video and I can't thank them enough for being a channel sponsor right here on the Edge of Tech. The cool thing about Coex is they're actually made in Wisconsin, right here in the state I live in and they're only about an hour and a half north. I'm actually gonna be doing a really cool facility tour with them coming up. But this Coex Next is recycled PLA from the beginning and the end of all of their PLA runs. All the stuff they can't use that doesn't go on their normal rolls, they take that they grind it all up into tiny pieces and then they recycle it into something called Coex Next. It's about 64% recycled and the rest they use brand new virgin PLA pellets and it makes some really nice filament. Matter of fact, honestly, I can't tell the difference between their regular filament and this because it's basically all the same stuff. It is really nice. I have some videos coming up featuring models using this and I tell you, it prints like a dream. So we're gonna use the Coex inside of the Fuller Box. We're gonna pop it in just like this. And you can see how the bearings work then. Very nice. It rolls really nice in there. I'm gonna pop this up and push it into our PTFE tubing. And I'm just gonna do that to be fair. So there's something in this tubing that's not just an open hole. Uh, I'm not gonna go, yeah, let's go about right there. That's, it's just to, 
where is it? It's about to right here on the tube, so about three quarters. So I'm gonna seal that up just like this, clamp it down, make sure it's tight, and that is sealed up. This right here is now the full of box, fully assembled and fully sealed with our Coex Next inside. So on the thermometer and the hydrometer, we have 74.6 degrees and 44% humidity. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set up a camera on this. We're gonna run a time lapse all night. Let's see what this thing drops down to in the morning and then I'll finish the video then. So it's the next day and I ran this overnight, about 11 or 12 hours on the time lapse. And as you can see here, we started at about 44% humidity and by the end of it, we actually got all the way down to about 10% humidity inside of this box. I think that's pretty awesome. That was at about uh, nine o'clock this morning. Uh, it is roughly eight o'clock now, p.m., the same day, and I'm gonna take a look at it. So right now we're at 26%. So I tell you what, it has settled about 24 hours now and I'm about 26% humidity, which is still really, really good. I did not hook this up to a printer yet. I'm going to do that after this video. There's a ton of videos out there about dry boxes and this just happens to be the one that Fulament created and it is really nice. Uh, it's got some good weight. The acrylic is really thick, it's strong, it looks really cool, and you can set it next to your printer, you can set it up on a shelf above, whatever you want to do, it'll work, as long as it's upright like this, because that's how the wheels roll. Now they say it'll hold off humidity for like six months, I think that'll depend on where you're at, but in my case, uh, just looking at the desiccant, you can't really tell there's a bunch in there yet or anything like that. We're going to let this stuff sit, maybe uh, we'll keep it closed here for a month or something and see how it goes. <laughs> You never know. I'm probably going to set this next to a printer and just start printing with it. I really love this Coex Next PLA that they came out with that we talked about earlier. When I do print with it, I know I'm going to grab a model from Thangs. Thangs is another sponsor of this video. You're going to see that a lot with Coex and Thangs because they're totally awesome companies and they sponsor my channel. Now you can jump on Thangs. They're quickly becoming the fastest growing online 3D model community out there. There's a lot of cool things about Thangs. If you have not tried out the augmented reality part, you can use your phone, you can get a model, drop it up on this table, and you can make it as big as you want, as long as you're using your phone. I think that is such a cool feature. Also with no ads, and the servers are super fast, so you're gonna find everything you need right away. But check out Thangs with the link in the description below to download the mini gym, and you can print a mini gym at your house too. Overall, I don't want to keep this video too long. I really like this box. Uh, I have not tested it longer than 24 hours, to be honest with you. But uh, a dry box is a dry box. People make them out of uh, bins. They make them out of pretty much anything you can make airtight. So you could make your own, search some videos. There's a lot of great ones on doing that. Or if you're going for a certain look or you want it to be clean, check out the Fulham and Dry Box. There's going to be a link in the description below as well. Uh, I think it's going to perform just like every other dry box, it just looks really cool. It fits the spool really nice. The rollers are great with the bearings, the two packs of desk. I mean, this thing is really awesome and I really do love the look of it. Fulament, you really did a great job on this. I'm gonna set it up on the printer and we're gonna get it printing next. So click that link below in the description if you wanna check out the Fulla box. Uh, if you have the extra money or you're just looking for a dry box that looks really nice, I definitely suggest checking this one out. Something else I want to mention real quick, this is a passive dry box. It's not powered in any way, so you don't have to have extra power, just like any of the powered ones I've shown on the channel before, which is kind of nice. This thing runs itself with the desiccant packs in the bottom, and all you have to do is seal it up. With all of that being said, you guys are awesome. I hope you guys learned something today. Check out the Fuller Box if you're looking for a new dry box solution. And as always, keep printing. Hey everybody, if you liked that video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't already yet, hit that subscribe button right here and click that little bell right here if you want to get notified anytime we put out another great video or we go live right here on the Edge of Tech.